welcome. <laughs> so um, today, I thought I would teach y'all dumb ass. Anyways, a little bit of intro on me. Hi, I'm Nina. I go to MIT. Um, I did graduate from high school with relative success and not that much trauma. So I think I'm qualified to talk about this subject. What my relationship with like studying and like study habits and like being good about all that is that, oh my gosh, school was always pretty easy for me, especially in like middle school and like my first year of high school, freshman year. Um, so basically I never really studied for tests because I could just ace them with the knowledge up in here Basically, I didn't put that much effort into school like at all and I was doing fine I was doing great. My teachers were like you're great. And I was like great. I'm great However, that all changed sophomore year of high school when I finally had difficult teachers I had difficult classes and needless to say I crashed and burned aka got three A minuses on my report card Yeah, I was that girl literally once I got a B minus on like an essay for the first time And I cried for like three hours and my sister was so annoyed at me and she was like you're so stupid Like this is not a big deal and she was totally right But I literally thought my life was over for some reason don't be that person No one likes that person including myself fast forward to senior year And I got a C plus on an essay and the teacher asked me to stay after school and she literally looked me in the eye and she was like what happened to you? And I was like, I don't know, man. And I still pulled an A in that class, so let's go. If that ain't character development, then I don't know what is. Moral of the story is, up until like a couple years ago, I was actually just not a good student at all. By that I just mean I was not good at doing all the things that students are supposed to do, AKA studying and putting effort into their work. You know how like people are always like, Oh, when you're like a gifted child that like traumatizes you because you like always thought that you were ahead of everyone else and you never had to work hard. Yeah, that was me until I got my shit together and was like, okay, I have to start like learning and working hard. I got to MIT, classes are so much harder. There is so much more depth and concepts and like, obviously I was like, I can't just like fly by not studying anymore. Like this is serious shit. So your girl here developed a bit of a studying routine because I had to, because I literally would have failed if I had kept doing the same thing I had done in high school. But no, I'm gonna share with you my study tips and my study habits while studying at the same time because I have a physics quiz in two days and without incriminating myself too much, I'm just gonna say that I don't know anything. So yeah, a bit about what I'm gonna be studying right now. Physics, which is one of the classes I'm in, it's ENM, electricity and magnetism, has literally been the bane of my existence ever since online school started because for some reason, when we went online, the professors and like people who run the course just decided to say like, fuck you to all the students. So they literally stopped doing lectures. They replaced their lectures with MIT, open courseware which is free and it's online already they just made us do open courseware instead of teaching us like i'm sorry but like that doesn't that doesn't sit right with me with this class it's like i'm literally watching khan academy videos that are worse than khan academy so yeah i have not been motivated to learn in this class however i do have a quiz and i need to do well on it so time to study as for like the actual study sesh, my best advice would be to set aside a time and a place so that like, I don't know, you're just like prepared for it mentally, who knows? But like, I feel like the space matters. And if you like clear out your space and like prepare it well, then you're like setting yourself up for like a productive sesh versus if you just like sit down wherever you are and like open your laptop, you might not be in the right headspace. I don't know if that makes any sense. So what I would say for studying, what I find the most useful when studying is to do practice questions. That is like the best preview you can get of the test, but sometimes they won't give you practice problems and that sucks. So literally what I would do, go through the old homeworks that like I've forgotten about already and like do those problems again. Usually, hopefully, the concepts that are covered on the homework are gonna be the main concepts covered in the test. So I'm gonna go to the website right now. So now I have my practice questions open. I just want to say that I'm clicking through them right now and I really don't know how to do any of them. And that is because... So what I will do if I don't, if I'm looking at a question and I have no idea how to do it, is to consult the class materials, whether that be in the form of lectures, notes, these lovely open courseware videos. So, you know, I'm gonna do that for a bit. Wish me luck because I need it. 
So today, we're playing for cash. Fast money. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is coupon? Gravy run the game. Young Steve Harvey. Hey. Gravy gone through finesse the thought he's out your Whenever I'm like reviewing how to do a question or a certain concept for a question, I like to write down any like abnormally important <laughs> facts and or concepts and highlight them so I can go back and look at them later. Also, this is a gel highlighter that I got at like the academic expo and it's so cool. Harvey. Gravy stole your bitch, I didn't mean it and I'm sorry I think I might go start my own game show Okay, so I, I did like a little studying <laughs> So I did three of the problems It's okay so far Um, I'm gonna follow one of my own tips Which is to take breaks when you need it Sometimes when you're just like thinking too much It's like so much harder to do things Because your like mental state is fatigued or whatever If you feel yourself burning out like it's not gonna be helpful to keep on trying to cram information into your brain so take a breather as i will do right now also yeah when you're studying make sure like i know it's really hard for people to like separate from their phone my sd card ran out of space but we're back when you start studying i know it's like hard for people to they have, like people have separation anxiety with their electronics and i know that i do too my mom used to be like Oh, you're doing work like put your phone outside the room like put it like on the table where I can see it and I'd be like no But um, it really is like bad to have distractions when you're trying to focus I have a lot of issues trying to focus or trying to remember things when I'm using my phone And I don't know why but like sometimes I'll just like be like oh I need to go on my phone to like do a certain task and then I'll unlock my phone and that task just like ejects itself from my brain and I just spend an hour on TikTok problems am i right so it's really best for me at least to like not go on my phone at all when i'm trying to study unless i'm like taking a break which i'm doing right now but if you don't want to like put your phone outside just make sure it's on silent and like face down so like you won't see any notifications that may tempt you into going on a tiktok binge Yeah, we out in famous days. Young Wind Waker, I'm always making waves. Another thing to note is that choose your study space wisely, aka don't do it on your bed. Okay, when I was in high school, I would literally only do homework on my bed because I would like, whenever I came home, I was always just so tired because like in high school, I just like ran around like a freaking guinea pig and never like stopped. I would be so tired. I would just like go on my bed and be like, yep, I'm gonna do homework now. And my mom was always like, don't do that. Like, it's not good for you. And I was like, screw you. I'm doing fine in my classes. You don't know what's best for me. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Let me just tell you, it's bad idea. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. It really helps to have a separate rest and workspace. Also, I have found when you use your bed to do work, it makes it harder to fall asleep at night, at least for me, because your bed is no longer just like an area for sleeping and resting. It's also now an area for productivity and work. Like those things don't mesh very well together. So like basically don't do work on your bed. It may seem like a very comfortable, nice idea, but it's a terrible idea. Don't do it. So yeah, I'm almost done with these practice problems. I'm so proud of myself. This is like the most effort I've put in to online school ever this whole time. Like, go me. Like, yeah. So I'm gonna finish these two problems up. Before we continue, I want to tell you guys about something. A lot of people, and I mean like a lot of people, a lot of people ask me, what can I do to get into a good school? Or just like, what can I do to enhance my resume or my education. I've said before that I think that the best thing you can do as for extracurriculars is to find something you're passionate about and like commit yourself to that. And now that we're kind of in this period, it's kind of harder for people to be doing that or to like show that whatever. But I have a resource for you guys that can help you achieve those things while still in quarantine and during this crazy time where no one knows what's going on and etc. etc. So a few of my friends from MIT are working together with students from Harvard and Stanford to create this thing called the Summer STEM Institute, or the SSI. 
is what they're calling it. So basically what they do is they teach students how to do independent research projects. This is really helpful. Okay, I literally can't explain this to you. When I came to MIT and I was talking about talking to everyone about what they had done in high school, so many people did research. And I was like, where did y'all do this research? Like, what is research? Who, who'd you do this research with? Whenever I'm applying to clubs, travel abroad programs, anything, they're always like, if you did research, that will help you. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck research means. Sorry, that was just a pet peeve. Anyway, the SSI is, it's like a program that teaches you how to do independent research projects. There's also a masterclass lecture series where students can connect to speakers from Harvard, MIT, Stanford, and other top universities. These people are the cream of the crop, AKA not me. And if you can't afford it, there is financial aid. Listen up, this is something that can only help you. I will leave their link in the description. If you're interested, um, go check it out. If you are one of those people who asks me or other people like what can I do to boost my resume do well on extracurriculars go check it out it will be in my description okay now back to studying a little bit bigger but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was gravy run the gang young Steve Harvey hey. gravy come through finesse the thought he's out your party hey. yeah I run the gang young Steve Harvey Gravy might take you on a bad bitch of farm. I finished. Oh my god, I'm actually so tired. Why did that drain me so bad? So that concludes my study sesh for today. My last piece of advice would be to set realistic goals and expectations. My goal for today was to just do these practice problems and that was doable and I did them. So now I'm happy and I'm gonna go eat and then watch Netflix because I'm content with my productivity levels today. But if you set an unrealistic goal for yourself and you can't fulfill that goal because it's like either impossible or just like really, really hard and just not realistic, then you're just gonna feel bad about yourself and not feel like you learned anything and get discouraged to study in the future, which is not good. So just, you know, chunk it up, divide and conquer, all those things. Okay, so now I've done the practice problems. I've reviewed all the concepts that I needed to know in order to do those problems. So now I have everything written down on my handy dandy notebook. I'm just gonna like look over these highlighted portions that I highlighted. That's pretty much it. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Go study. Go get educated. Get educated! Yeah, see ya. Bye. Okay, young Steve Harvey. Gravy might take you on a bad bitch of farming. Gravy 